Good morning guys, back in London and we are taking before pictures of the dressing room because as you can see it is, this is the neatest it's looked and it still looks like an absolute carnage festival. <laughs> you were going to be ruder than that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really is, like all the shoes on the Amazon racks are just carnage. I'm packing for can in a couple of days. I had to start early because I forgot so many things last time because I was too frantic packing. So I was like, I'm gonna start a few days early. I mean, I had two more racks in this and as you can see there, they've all fallen off. I don't think I've fully shown you around here since I moved in because there honestly isn't that much to show. This is all clothes I'm adding to my Depop. I'm just getting around to it. Every time I add something to Depop, I feel like it sells out to the point where I can't say but guys wait guys i just put stuff on depop because you guys are so quick at buying stuff on depop and then here behind me is blazers next week the dressing room is actually starting which is going to be the best thing that's ever happened to me because this is just i haven't shown you this like this is what it looks like most of the time because if i touch these racks they fall down like two have fallen down tom who came to measure the dressing room one actually fell on him and i felt so bad <sighs> The things I have in here already are my blind, this is a little PFRA blind, my speakers which are missing the speaker covers because they're just being spray painted, my chandelier and my ceiling rose. That's literally all that's staying in here. So this time in hopefully two weeks I will be able to give you a tour of my new dressing room. There are multiple components to it. I have an island, I have some fabric that I need to be installed in the wardrobes and I have the island worktop and my dressing room stool. <laughs> so once all that's in it's a lot of little moving parts and we need to get together. Hello. So hot. <sighs> this rug is really <laughs> pissing me off, let me tell you. I got these little sticky things on Amazon. <gasps> oh my oh, god. Yes! Clever. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh no! You will stay down forever. Because that's what I told you. No! Maybe I just put a book on top of it and it just stays. I feel like once you put all of them down, the weight stay. of it all might just stay, yeah. Oh, look how much nicer that looks. It has literally been pouring with rain all day and the sun just decided to come out. And then I got a delivery, which I wasn't actually expecting today, which I'm so excited about. I'm out of breath. I just literally ran upstairs to tell you about it. It is from Monica Vinter because, because I have a 20% discount code. Let me say that again just so that you get the full effect of that. I have a 20% Monica Vinita discount code. It's really funny because I actually put on my Monica Vinita hoops this morning and then this parcel arrived. It's so funny. Isn't it weird how stuff happens like that? Oh I love their packaging. Enjoy your 100% recycled gold and silver jewelry, full recyclable packaging, 100% carbon neutral delivery, the MVT. Oh my gosh there's so much stuff in here. So I picked out a couple of things that I liked and I think the Monica Vinita team have sent me more things because this is a lot of stuff. Let's see what's in here. Okay, I got some really fun pieces for summer. This is a little bracelet. It's like a double bracelet and you can either twist it and put it on twisted. I love the stones or you can have it so it looks like two bracelets almost. I will show you each piece on. That's bracelet number one. This is box number two. I love the packaging. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so let me show you. Hold on. In my little jewelry tray here, I have these Monica Vinita earrings, which I love and I wear so much. I think I got these a year ago and I have the matching necklace, which literally rakes in the compliments and I wanted to complete the set so I got the bracelet I think actually the bracelet is my favorite look how classy that looks it has that really old-school vibe to it and I just think it's amazing and I think because it's so gold that gold is just the perfect shade of gold As someone that is now obsessed with different shades of gold their gold is a great shade of gold let me tell you oh my god they're spoiling me so much what is it in oh this is stunning I really, really wanted this. This is a tiny little nugget necklace. Can you see? It's so dainty and fine, but I think once it's on, it's just gonna look incredible, especially, I was thinking a lot about summer clothing when I was picking out these pieces. They have such a mix of stuff on their website, like necklaces, bracelets. They have really dainty pieces. They have the classic Monica Vinita pieces that I've loved for like decades and decades. 
and then they have new more modern pieces like i was showing you oh this ring oh i hope this fits yes it's my size yes you know when you take a risk with the ring sizes and you're like is this gonna work look how cool that ring is is that not the best ring you've ever seen this is part of their reva collection which has been around for a really long time i have their reva oval ring i think it is and it's one of my favorites of all time this one i think is more new it's staying on my finger just put it that way you know when you get things and you're wondering like if everything's gonna be amazing and then you're like surely not because it's so much stuff this is like everything is amazing <gasps> oh my gosh this bracelet this summer for me i really want an uber cool bracelet stack i want to be that person right now i'm wearing no bracelets but i want to be that person that has like this much of their arm is a bracelet do you know what i mean like that's what i want for my summer i just think it looks really cool and it always wearing loads of bracelets just signifies summer for me this is the keshki pearl bracelet so it's nuggets and it's gold and pearls and it's got such a beautiful clasp what is in here oh yes I'm so happy about this. Okay, this necklace is really funny because it's called the Dea necklace. And when you're watching this, I will literally be in Dea in Mallorca. So I was like, that is the funniest coincidence ever. I didn't just choose it because of that. I loved it. And I've never, ever seen a chain like this. Tell me if you have, because I have not. It is a little gold chain and it has little separation with three little beads, which I think is so unique because you normally see these kind of like bobble necklaces and it's never three, it's one maybe one and two i thought that was really special and then it has a coin at the bottom which is surrounded by little beads as well i think you can actually engrave this if you wanted to so i might put initials on it but i love how the coin is battered like it's kind of like a battered gold which i think looks really nice by itself too wow these are all stunning like what else did i choose what else did i choose oh yes oh my gosh so this is the matching necklace to the bracelet that I chose. This is going to look so good with a bikini. I'm kind of sad this didn't arrive before Santorini because I would have literally worn it all. all right, excuse my tensions while I try and do this. I love me some pearls with a bikini. Pearls and gold. Oh, this is actually, this one that I'm wearing actually is Monica Vinada. This is a little snake necklace, but I'm actually just gonna tuck that in while I show you this. Look at that. All the Monica Vinada pearls, by the way, are ethically sourced. I'm gonna leave my discount code on the screen. It will get you 20% off Monica Vinada, which for jewelry, I feel like that goes a seriously, seriously long way. Last time I had a Monica Vinada dis discount code, everyone went crazy for it. So hopefully you love all the pieces that I chose. I'm thinking about what to wear today. And I think what I'll do, wait, where's my snake chain, which is in here? I bought this snake chain a year ago and it's literally my favorite snake chain. I think I kind of like the two together. I think with this suit, actually, it could be cool to layer. This is a little choker, this little Dea necklace. Also, can I just say that my pieces, like these hoops are Monica Vinita and they just last so well. They have bigger versions of these as well, which my best friend bought with my code. Okay, so this is a little choker, so that sits kind of higher. I like having loads of jewelry on, you guys know me, I might just tuck that little coin in. Okay, what do we think of this styling now? Like how many necklaces is too many? I kind of love everything I chose together. I never normally like a clasp, but how good does that clasp look? Like it literally looks like it's part of the bracelet and this bracelet looks so pretty. I've just twisted it once so you can see the stones and the gold. And I think that looks really great together. Look, it kind of twists around. So sometimes you get a bit of gold, sometimes you get a bit of pearl. Oh my gosh, I just changed top because I always think necklaces look better with a little bare neck. Look at that with my ring, it looks so pretty. I'm obsessed with my stack. I feel very glam. So I thought, what was the one thing I wanted to do today? And then I remembered that I wanted to show you, sorry, you can hear there are so many builders in the house, but I wanted to show you another finished room in the house, which is the powder room. You've seen this a few little times on random sneak peeks and now it is finally finished. I will show you around. I've done a full tour on Amida Liana home, but I had to show you in the vlog. The powder room. This room is the best room. You've seen this wallpaper, you've seen this, my gorgeous paneling. This was the one thing we were waiting for for this room which was my little bespoke Ian Mankin lamp shade, which is beautiful. This is one of my favorite fabrics. This mirror is now hung up and all pretty. I don't really have anything new to show you in here, but I was just waiting for that and I didn't want to give you a proper look 
at the room without my freaking lampshade. How great is my high cistern with my gorgeous wooden toilet seat and this says pull to let go. I feel like I've shown you that in a vlog before but it's literally one of my favorite things ever. And then we have my little star at the top which lights up. The other thing I wanted to show you was painting the beading because I've done this on a few drawers in the house and I just think it makes such a difference and it just brings the whole room together. What do you guys think? Should I paint the ceiling this farron ball color so that it feels like the room is is one. I have a sunglasses addiction as well as a jewelry addiction by the way. I was just about to leave and put on my sunnies and I thought I would show you them because these sunglasses are life. They're from Celine and I bought them in brown because I wear the black ones so much. They literally take over your face. It's like I can't see you. Hater shades. And this is my outfit of the day. I have a little Zara bustier on with my theory suit which I love. My little mint linen suit. Two years of lockdown. I really feel Probably it's not over, but it feels like it's over. These look so beautiful, my So goodness. we have chocolate fondant here. Oh, wow. I've never seen them on beautiful lemon sorbet. It's like in the frozen lemon skin with... I just don't even know what that is, like grapefruit on top? I have waited two months for these specific linen hand towels. They don't even look like hand towels. They look like, honestly, like napkins. <laughs> but they look really sweet now that they're in, which took a really long time. Look, don't they look pretty now? Now that they're finally in, they look really pretty here. Like if I sit back on the chair, you can kind of see them and they really tie everything in. Like they literally go perfectly with this wallpaper. These are little embroidered linen napkins. Well, they're described as hand towels, but honestly, like how is that a hand towel? Really. By the way, this bin, I will link below. It's from Amazon. It's literally the best bin. Like, look how stunning this bin is. It was literally 20 pounds from Amazon. Honestly, one of my best Amazon finds ever. Like, look how stunning it looks there. I have ordered this little glucose monitor. Oh my God, I just put it in. It's like a little needle. Oh, that's interesting. It's like a little patch. I wasn't gonna talk about it. And then as soon as I was putting it in, I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna tell you because I feel like people are gonna see it and ask what it is. I've found this brand literally on Instagram. It measures your glucose levels for your glycemic index. Mine is calibrating on an app now. Let me see, I think I need to scan it. Yeah, your sensor is calibrating. I have 52 minutes. I need to scan that. Now done. Let me just tell you what this is. There are a couple of brands like this. There's one called Levels, but you have to apply. And I applied like uh, two months ago and never heard anything. And then there's one I saw called Vary, which basically it's like a little, from my understanding, it's like a little needle that is constantly measuring your glucose levels. So you can just kind of understand, their branding is like you understand your body better. For anyone that has SIBO like me, it's very linked. And by the way, SIBO is something called small intestine bacterial overgrowth. Not hot at all, I'll tell you that right now. For anyone that has SIBO or IBS, it's very closely, especially for me, linked to glucose and how my glycemic index is. So the idea really in an ideal world is that you're not having any sort of major glucose spikes which come from sugar, fruits. It's kind of like having a low FODMAP diet if you've heard of that, which a lot of people have now. You're having more like protein, vegetables, nothing that really like spikes your glucose. Everyone's body is really different. I firstly have quite a bit of sugar in my diet and I love fruit and I love sugar and getting my SIBO under control was something that I've kind of struggled with over the years. Over the past like three years what works for me and I've learned my symptoms and when I get really triggered. In the past I would say like six months my SIBO has got so bad like the worst it's ever been and I know, I know why, but I can't stop it. Like it's because of my lifestyle and because I'm doing too many things at once. It's so hard for me to admit that and I'm just not gonna stop. Like I know it will maybe get to the point where my body will force me to stop, but I feel like there's nothing I can do right now. It's like, I don't know if anyone else feels like this, but it's that post COVID go, like it's go, go, go. I feel like with moving three times, the house stuff, managing my brand, my team, everything to do with all my channels. I do YouTube, blog, Instagram, 
TikTok. Am oh, I missing one? Raimi's Instagram. My home Instagram. I never talk about those kind of things or like list them because I feel like my job is a gift and it's never something that I want to seem like, oh, I have so many things to do, guys. Like, guess how many platforms I do and whatever. I feel like that kind of comes from back in the day when people wouldn't think Instagramming or influencing or content creation was a job and now so many more people in the past like seven years or however many years have tried it or have a friend that does it and can actually see how much work goes into it have a better understanding of what it actually entails. Now I feel like saying something like that, people have a better understanding of what it actually means to have so many platforms and to be across so many things. Anyway, that was just part of the reason why I feel like my SIBO has literally just got out of control because I'm trying to do too many things at once I think I just don't feel like honestly I just don't feel like I'm doing any of them that well <laughs> like last week I know it's not a big deal to forget your makeup bag but it is a big deal for me because I just don't do big mistakes like that like I just don't forget something next to my suitcase and to me that was like Amelia wake up like you are literally making basic errors because you're trying to do too many things at once anyway the point I'm, I'm trying to make of why I ordered this kit was to get a better understanding of my body and to see what affects my body like I was looking at, I think it was Aggie's Instagram, and she was like, oh, I had a salad, but it spiked my glucose so much, and I was wondering why, and it was because of the salad dressing, and my body just didn't like the salad dressing, basically, which is so interesting. I feel like it will hopefully give me some insights that I wasn't really aware of, of how things are affecting, how different foods are affecting my body and affecting my glucose levels, and hopefully if I can get even like a bit of insight over the next month of like how different foods affect my glucose levels and I can balance that out and then hopefully balance out my SIBO symptoms and then live better basically. For those of you that aren't familiar with SIBO, it's yeah, small intestine bacterial overgrowth and it's quite restrictive in terms of not only what you can eat but generally day-to-day -day lifestyle. It makes living quite difficult because your body isn't digesting your food properly so you might struggle to sleep you might struggle to get the nutrition even though you're eating healthy food your body isn't getting what it needs from that healthy food so you're constantly tired your digestion's really impaired so like after you eat it's like quite exhausting like eating <laughs> makes you tired which is the weirdest thing ever a long list of really unsexy symptoms that are not hot i will tell you that again uh, you can google them for yourself if you want to but they're not sexy so now when you see my little hat here you'll know what we're doing with our lives hopefully it will give me some cool insights into what I'm eating so let's see I'm kind of curious because I know like sometimes for example in the morning first thing I have a smoothie and I don't know how that's going to affect my body and I'll be really interested to see I'll also be interested to see the glucose like dips of like when I'm feeling like tired is that because my blood sugar's gone down or is that because my body's trying to digest food or like what what is that basically I'm actually kind of excited for this I feel like it's a little secret into my body you know okay let me put this back on because I was just doing that I've already had a nip slip in the vlog recently so let's not have another one right makeup removal where is a hair tie guys look how great this bracelet stack is it's stunning oh you know what i just ordered some garni eye makeup remover i'm gonna go get it okay i did so much makeup today because i was so happy to be back with my makeup bag this is the garni product i ordered by the way this is the express two in one eye makeup remover now i'm using a little bit of clinique take the day off this is an oldie but a goodie it's literally like coconut oil kind of it's like fancier coconut oil for your skin just really melts everything off your face it's so luxurious but really simple every time i keep seeing this bracelet like catch the light on the camera on the viewfinder i'm like oh, it looks so good God, sorry, really talking about SIBO, it's really triggering for me, honestly. Like, I just don't like talking about it because it just brings me down. I feel like because it's something that I always have to manage and think about, it's like not a day goes, not an hour goes by, literally not an hour goes by. Anyway, whatever, it is what it is, right? Let's, we'll move on with our lives. Come on, me now. Ah. A little skin massage from me you're welcome on that tutorial i love this redial b venom eye cream it's 
great. I love Rodial products. Do you say Rodial or Rodial? I literally take it around my eyes, pat, 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 and then I take it on my smile line. Oh, that's a bit much, but you know, I've got a lot of smile lines. And sometimes I'll even like take it down my neck because there's leftover eye cream. We ain't gonna waste it. You know? Then I love this too. Look how much I've used of it. This is the Caudalie Premier Cream. Oh, I'm going for a Caudalie facial tomorrow. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Good morning, guys. I'm just getting ready for the day. Ready to take you through my kitchen today, which is going to be mega, mega, mega. I'm just trying to find where I took off my jewelry yesterday. It was by the bed, obviously. Should have guessed that. Almost fell asleep with my hoops in. <laughs> I wear literally everything, but who? to sleep. Are you ready for the kitchen tour? Welcome to my kitchen. This is my beautiful baby. This was the first thing that I did in the house, the first thing that was completed. This was the easiest part to me and it was honestly down to the kitchen company I use. This was the most seamless part of the whole house. And I'm so grateful to the woodworks because everything else in this house was so stressful and so higgledy-piggledy that the kitchen was the easiest thing, which made me so happy because it's my favorite place. So the company I used is called The Woodworks. They're based in Mill Hill and they do everything for you. They basically came, measured the space and figured out the best configuration and then we worked together on what would be where. So we had these incredible CGI's of what exactly it would look like so I could get a feel of the kitchen. So let me start by saying this is a galley kitchen which means that it is basically a little alleyway and either side you have your kitchen. Firstly we have the runner which is from Etsy, it's like a little long runner that was the perfect size for the kitchen. The other thing I wanted to say is behind me, ignore all of that because all the furniture is being sold, everything is changing, that part of the house is not even close to being finished yet. So ignore what's there because it doesn't work with the kitchen but when the new stuff comes in it will. So appliances in the kitchen are all mealy, those were what I chose, I chose a mealy hob, I chose a mealy fridge freezer, a mealy dishwasher which is not working and they're sending the guy on Tuesday. The pink colour is the most incredible green I think in the whole world, it's Farambul Verditaire, Rebecca recommended this colour, it is honestly one of my favourite colours if I could paint the whole house in this colour. I really, really would. The woodworks spray everything four times, so it's really, really soft. The paint looks absolutely incredible. For handles, I went for R. Mac Martin. I'm also using R. Mac Martin in my dressing room as well, and on some other joinery too. I love their handles. They have a choice of like 30 different finishes or something out of this world, so it is quite hard to choose your finish. I went for SAS. I'll leave all the details to everything down below. And these knobs are just so beautiful. They're really, really detailed. I think they add a little girly touch to the kitchen. I have them absolutely everywhere except on two pull drawers. These are apparently the same finish, but they don't look the same because of the smooth finish. So I've actually ordered them in a lighter finish. This is the Cotswold pull, I believe, which just makes it easier when you're tugging at a drawer. So in terms of other appliances, I have my double oven. So this is the oven below and this is actually a combi oven, which means it's like a microwave and an oven. I don't really use a microwave, but I thought it, would, it was quite useful to have. This was on a longer lead time, so we waited a bit longer for this, but I thought in the case that I want a microwave at some point in my life, I have the option. I'll talk you through each appliance and then I'll talk you through what's in the cupboards and how we organise the kitchen. This is the stove. This is a mealy gas stove, which actually needs to be cleaned. <laughs> I did not want an induction. I hate induction so much. I know it's really useful because it doesn't get dirty like this and you can just wipe it down and you're not dealing with a flame but I love making rice. I love seeing the flame and I feel like, honestly, I feel like food tastes different when it's cooked with a gas fire rather than on an induction hob. So I went for this, which I th actually think looks really neat and gorgeous. I think it also makes a bit of a like statement in the kitchen. Socket switches, that kind of thing. I have my Corsten switches, which I think are beautiful. They work perfectly well with my Armac Martin handles. I went for Perrin and Row taps because I thought they were the most gorgeous. Now I have a 600 wide sink, which originally we had 800, but I wanted 
smaller workspace. Here we try to cram a lot of stuff in. You'll know if you are familiar with hot taps that none of them are very pretty. I found the prettiest one for me by eyes was Perenbro, which is this one here. This is the smallest little hot tap and you basically double press it and pull it down and hot water comes out. So that's at 100 degrees. So you don't really need a kettle or anything like that gives you a total eyesore. This is the Perino Road tap. It has a filter in the middle and a hot and a cold. And then I had to have, like one of my absolute non-negotiables was a shower head spray because I like being able to clean my sink. So this pulls out like this. This is also from Perino Road. You turn the taps on and ta-da! You've got yourself a little shower spray and it's really easy to hose down your sink. I literally couldn't recommend that enough. I couldn't, I actually couldn't live without it. It changes my life. The other thing I wanted to mention was the pair and row finishes. I got aged brass. I'm not a huge fan of the finish, to be honest. At some point I will change it. It hasn't aged that well yet. And it honestly looks more yellow orange than I thought. My cleaner did actually scrub these with Viacal, which you are not supposed to do at all. And as soon as I walked into the kitchen, I noticed something was different. So it's not ideal, but hopefully the finish of it will calm down. It has already, and it's kind of like a lived in finish, so it changes over time. In the sink, I have an insincorator. Absolutely game changing, you need one. What I hated doing, especially because I have a lot of rice and rice goes everywhere, is like picking out bits of disgusting manky food from the sink so it didn't go down into the sink. This has a little button under the sink and it eats your food. It just like processes your food, you turn it off, bada bing bada boom and you can shove whatever food you want down the sink i mean i wouldn't shove a whole chicken down there but when you're washing the plates and stuff and food goes down there you don't need to worry let's go through cupboards so we're going to start on the left side of the kitchen i didn't have room in this kitchen for an island that will be my next house woodworks i'm coming back and we're doing an island it'll probably be a rolly one so this is my fridge. On the top of the fridge, we have a little shelf. This is great for big, big vases. You can see they're huge. This fridge right now looks a bit sad, I'll be honest, but I'm going away tomorrow, so, or the next day, so I haven't done a food shop yet. <laughs> um, so I just have vegetables and stuff in here. This is a 1730 fridge freezer. So in the freezer down here, we have like Duke's food and other stuff. Honestly, I could have done with a bigger freezer and a bigger fridge, but this is just what worked in the space. I think next time I'll have a double fridge freezer. Over here, this is not the cooking side. This is the non-cooking side. So we have tea up here because it's close to my hot tap. So I grab my mug, grab my tea. Then I have bins in here because I wanted my bin near the sink because when I'm, you know, emptying food, putting thingy. So basically the process goes, you scrape the food in the bin, you wash the plate and then you put it in the dishwasher. So it's a really nice, simple process. Under the sink is all cleaning supplies and all sorts. And also the little pair and row unit that makes this hot. Above here we wanted to do one pretty glass unit. You can either do reeded glass or you can do tinted glass or you can even do fabric if you wanted to. I liked having one open unit so it kind of broke up the kitchen a little bit and in here I just put vases and glassware. Teapot, that kind of thing, just anything pretty basically goes in that cupboard and I think having that one cupboard just breaks up this side of the kitchen a little bit. Over here you've seen I already have my dishwasher under there. This I have a little, I got this recently, this is a little chopping board from Nuku, I think, and my sister actually got me this lemon set, which is so sweet. It's like a little jug and glass. You can put it by your bed. And here I have glassware and pills and all sorts like that. I even have a cheese fondue set, <laughs> which I am waiting to christen. This cupboard at the end, so at the end we have two tall cupboards, and this cupboard ha has a really short depth. So we actually made this a glassware cupboard. God, I'm talking so fast because I'm so excited. My mouth is so dry. So in here, I have spices and stuff up here. I think I might actually put these into little pots and use the top shelf so that it's just a bit neater, more organized, prettier. Um, here I have all my pills. I have SIBO. It's not fun. I take a lot of... Why, why does that not have a front? I take a lot of pills and sorts. Then I have glasses in here. So this was actually the perfect cupboard for glasses because it's the perfect depth. So I have some little raffia glasses here. I have my gorgeous, really fancy Christoffel glasses. 
all sorts in there, little tea, rockin' tea cups. Those are for my grandma. So that is that side of the kitchen. Let's go to the right side. So I showed you I have my double oven. Then at the top, we just put shelving. This is kind of a bit random and needs to be sorted out, to be honest. I have like my rice cooker, I have some wine. What I actually want to do is put dividers so I can have bottles of wine and little dividers. And I think this cupboard will end up being a wine drinks alcohol cupboard. Then under here, we just have some shelving, which I put like tray cooking trays in. I have charger plates in here as well. So that cupboard fits perfectly, that kind of stuff. Then this is where the lights are for the whole kitchen. I have under cupboard lighting. I would really recommend that because it gives a really soft feel to the kitchen, especially at night. Spotlights, other lights can be quite harsh. Under cupboard is really, really soft. And then if you look in this cabinet here, the drinks cabinet looks really pretty when it has the light shining on it as well. You can kind of see a bit more what's inside. I'm just gonna turn that off because I feel like it messes up the balance on the camera. So in here I have Duke's bowls. Duke's not with me right now, but hopefully he will be soon. As soon as my dressing room is done, Duke is moving. So I have condiments and all sorts, things that basically I reach for when I'm on the stove. So everything is basically in arm's reach of each other, which is what you want. Then on this side of the room, we have basically nine drawers, and this was amazing. The woodworks really thought about how to maximize the space for the size, because it isn't a big kitchen, and how I could really get the maximum amount of storage space because that was really really important to me so in here i have plates and all sorts serving ware in the top and bottom of that i literally have like random storage things in this little drawer this is my favorite this is the cutlery drawer this is a little oak lined cutlery drawer now this oak wood you can pick basically any of the colors in the woodwork showroom and we basically held it against the finish of the cabinets and this was the color that I picked, which I think looks really, really luxurious and I love the veining on it. So that's the inside. This is all my cutlery and like sushi sticks and straws and all sorts. Basically things I reach for on a regular basis are in here when I'm cooking. Then underneath I have plates, bowls, things like that. This drawer you can see is super deep, which is great because I can just fit so much in there. And below that I have pots and pans, frying pans, dishes, that kind of thing. What do we have in here? Oh, this is bigger bowls, go in here. I wanted really deep drawers, so that is great for that. And in here is, oh yeah, like measuring things and that kind of stuff, uh, mixing bowls, nothing very interesting. This drawer at the top I think is, oh yeah, that's Duke's drawer. Above the hob is the extractor fan. It has a little light, you can turn it on turn it off. <laughs> I think they actually made the extractor fan look beautiful. I've never seen such a beautiful extractor fan. It has this gorgeous cornice on it. This is actually a shaker style kitchen, which was the kind of style that I wanted. So if you look really closely, you can see all the beading on the cabinets and they chose really gorgeous hinges for me as well, which I think work really well. They're kind of very, very subtle. And then lastly, this is my snack cupboard, which it's looking a bit sad, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's a bit sad in here, to be honest. This is like what happens when I go away. If anyone came to my house while I'm away, don't expect to be fed. There isn't much to feed you. I have my Thermomix at the top, and then um, just like random snacks that aren't really that interesting, to be honest. In case you fancy your hazelnut. You guys know me, I'm the snack queen, but when I'm away, there's no point ordering snacks, is there? The other thing I wanted to talk to you about was the worktop. This is a quartz. This is from a company called Rock & Co. Um, the Woodworks recommended them. They showed me a bunch of different finishes and it has a gorgeous little lip on the top. So a quartz means that it's basically not a real marble, which means that it's super, super, super durable for heat, for water, for stains, for food. It's absolutely amazing. It looks real. Everyone comes in and compliments my marble and are totally surprised when I tell them it's a quartz. It is so, so beautiful, and they were amazing to work with. We actually needed to change something halfway through, and they came, no problem, changed it, and I was super, super, super happy with the finish of this. I think it looks really, really luxurious, just having, like, huge slabs of marble that are really, really easy to clean 
and really durable. Display wise, I have this, which is from a brand, I can't remember, it's from my friend Emily. It was some funny animal that I can't remember the name of. Anyway, we'll link it down below because it's such a beautiful bowl. It's like a gorgeous pink resin bowl and it goes so nicely with the green. And I told Emily who got it for me that I see it literally first thing every single day. It's like the first thing I see. I have this from the White Company. I've always wanted one of these and I've never had enough worktop space. This is literally just like a book stand for your books. That's better. It was on grilled sardines. Like I'm never going to eat that. Vanilla honey ice cream and milkshake. There we go. That sounds better. And uh, no, I always wanted one of those. And I have this little yellow tea towel here. Yellow check tea towel. In terms of install, the Woodworks team came to came and install it. It took three days, four days for them to install. They were super, super fast. And when I went to go visit the Woodworks, you guys might remember that vlog. They showed me a variety of different kitchens. I would really recommend going to their showroom. I knew I wanted Shaker and it just kind of confirmed that I wanted Shaker. I just think Shaker kitchens have a lot more detail to them. And I like things that are super, super detailed. Like if you look at these drawers, the beading on these drawers, you've got the double beading here. You've got the inset panels here. And it was so great having my kitchen just completely done, finished, organized. There's honestly so many things in this house already since I moved in. I think, oh, I would change that, but this I would not change at all. It's literally perfect. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention was I got a white sink. Um, I didn't get a steel sink because I just think they are not very pretty and they show watermarks a lot. I used to have a steel sink and it just showed way too much water and it was way too annoying. So I got a white ceramic sink, which I think looks absolutely blissful so that is literally the tour of my new kitchen that i can finally show you so this is three rooms down in the house and about 800 to go so i hope you enjoyed my kitchen tour if you have any questions you can pop them below or message me on amina liana home and i will get back to you the other thing i wanted to show you was that each drawer has a soft closure oh sexy shutters and each cupboard has a little soft magnet. Oh yeah. I am making some apple cinnamon porridge for breakfast. Literally porridge, hazelnut milk, because it's sweeter than almond milk. Cinnamon and cut up apples. I normally would do red apples, but I only had green. I'm going to a travel event now, which is so cool because I haven't done something like this in such a long time because the travel industry was a bit sad during COVID. I want to show you my outfit because it's literally my go-to absolute outfit. Can I just say how good do my necklaces look with black underneath them? I think they look really good. So I'm wearing my Monica Vinida necklaces that I unboxed yesterday. In my hand here, I have my prescription, which I need to go and get for SIBO. I have a tea. I have my car keys, my house key, my phone, <laughs> and in my other hand I have a lipstick. Then I have a little black t-shirt underneath with my favorite Blase Milano blazer. That's the fabric for my patio, by the way. And then I have some incredible Trekker jeans on from Theory. I also have a Theory discount code, which I will link below. All the discount codes will be in the information box for you, including the Monica Vinida one. And I have my incredible, amazing Nike Jordans, which I think I'm risking in the rain. And I also have a discount code for these too. I'm literally like full of happy discount codes today. So let's go. I'm going to the Berkeley Hotel to their afternoon tea, which will be delish. Rubbish and laundry. Goodbye. And this is why I cannot walk today. <laughs> the heavens have opened. It is the most miserable day and I don't even have an umbrella. Good times. <laughs> the plus side, I have my favorite Fenty lipstick back. I actually finished one of these. Like I never finish stuff anymore because I have so much stuff. But I finished this and I got a new one. This is Fenty Beauty Makeup Break. I think it's the perfect nude with a bit of gloss. It's also really long lasting because it's kind of thick, like in a hot way, you know what I mean? Look at this weather now. <laughs> it's going crazy. London has lost its mind. Look how beautiful this weather is. That is the weirdest thing that's ever happened. Like English weather is so strange. Look at this now. It's now like the most glorious day, but in five minutes, it will be pouring down with rain. I bet you by the time I have to go back in my car, I will be absolutely drenched. I'm just starting to pack for can, and I think I might have to bring three suitcases because I have clothes, accessories, shoes, makeup, and then I have three giant dresses to put in. So I don't know where I'm gonna bring those, but luckily 
we have two suitcases each so Pia might take my other suitcase and I normally pack like this I normally pack an outfit actually and this time I'm not forgetting my makeup bag if it kills me that was like the first thing to go in there and when I come back this will hopefully be resembling something close to a dressing room which will be I hope you've enjoyed seeing you around my kitchen and you can let me know what you think. Remember, I have a Monica Vinader discount code and I will see you next Sunday with another vlog. Bye guys.